Hello guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are watching me from, you are welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time of somebody that's coming across this YouTube channel, you are highly welcome. As for my old subscriber, you all are welcome as well. In today's video, we are going to be making Ogbolo soup. This is the Ogbolo I'm talking about. For those of us that is not in Africa, you are not from Africa, you are not from Nigeria, this is called Ogbolo. And for this Ogbolo soup, those are the ingredients we require to make this soup. Here yeah, I have salt to taste. Here yeah, I have mushroom and fish. Here is the red oil. I'm going to be using spinach for this soup. Here is the spinach that I'm using. Here is the spinach. I've already cut it and boiled it a little bit. Here I have onions chopped already. I have ginger, fresh ginger, and seasoning cube. Here I have the meat that I will be using. I've already gone ahead and had pepper and crayfish to eat. So what I will do now is just to turn on the gas. You can see, then the first thing you need to do, you have to put your onions in this soup. I chopped the onions very tiny so that it will melt very quick. And the ginger as well will go in. I blend the ginger a little bit while the seasoning cube will go in. Then you can now go ahead and add your salt. Before I forgot, in here I have pork meat and the turkey meat. That is the meat I'm using to make this ogbolo soup today. So I will not. I will still add the um, black pepper to this soup. Then I'm now going to add the hard water. I have not. I have not added any water to it. So let's just go ahead and add the water. Then you cannot stir everything together. You can see the skin of the pork meat. I saw this in Aerostar, I decided to buy it because I, I love pork meat with skin. So at this point, you cannot cover it, allow it to cook for 15 minutes. Then back to the Ocolo. If you know you don't have dry blender for this Ocolo, like I always said in all my video. You can go ahead and make use of water blender. If you want to blend ogbolo with water blender, all you need to do is to pour your oil. Make sure you have you hide more oil so that it, it will be enable you to blend the ogbolo very well. After that, you close, then you turn on your blender. All right, guys, our blended ogbolo is ready. You can see, you can see the ogbolo is very smooth. So, if you know you don't have a dry blender and you feel like cooking ogbolo, a goosey, or anything at all, you can free to use this. Uh, Water blender, all you need to do is just to add oil to it. It will blend perfectly well for you, okay? So here is the meat. The meat is boiling already. You can see the meat. We will allow it to boil for another extra 10 minutes. Then we will now go ahead and add the mushroom, the fish, and the remaining things. 
so I will see you guys. All right, so it's been over 15 minutes now, so you can see the meat. It's time for we to now add our mushroom and the fish together. So I'm going to be adding everything together. Just go ahead and pour it. fresh fish and the mushroom inside so we are still going to allow it to cook for another extra five minutes then we'll now add our obolo to it all right it's time for we to now add our obolo soup to this water you can see the meat is boiled already, so it's time to add your grounded obolo. Here is the grounded obolo. So you can I go ahead, just turn the obolo to your soup. You can see the obolo is very smooth. So you can I take a little bit of warm water, add it to the blender not too hot just to raise the blender then you pour it inside your soup you can now stir together or you allow it to boil on its own the soup consider your bolo is very thick at this point if you choose to add water you are free to add water so that is what I'm doing now huh? I will be adding a little bit of warm water to it you can see i've already add warm water you can still add cold water or if you don't have hot water at this point We are going to be adding our spinach to it later, later, not now. So we allow this obolo to cook for another extra 10 to 15 minutes. Then before we now add our spinach to it. Alright, it's time for we to now add our spinach to this soup. Can see the soup. Wow! So time to add spinach. If you choose not to add any veggies to your obolo soup, you are free. You can still cook it like that. Just give it a little stir. Make sure you mix everything together so that the spinach will be mixed with all the obolo. Then after this, we will now allow the soup to cook for five minutes. In less than in less than five minutes, our obolo soup will be ready. You can see the obolo soup is very thick. 
it's like party style, but we are eating this one at home. We are not taking it to any party, man. You can see the soup. Looks so yummy, very delicious. If you cook this up below, eh? For your husband, hmm, throughout that week, your husband will just be dashing you money. <laughs> Whenever you serve him with this up below soup, he will dash you money. Say, honey, take this. You can do whatever you want to do with this money. Take it, take it, take it. You can see the obolo soup. Very colorful, yummy, delicious. Alright, so our soup is ready. Our soup is ready. If you know you love this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't also forget to click that red button that says subscribe. And also click that notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be the first person that will got the alert. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you all. Remain blessed, okay? Bye.